it's Melchie here. Welcome to EVE Online. Ever thought about having a colony? Right. Planetary reproduction. Ever heard of it? No? Okay, well I'm going to make a small video. First you want to open up the agency and select planetary production. Okay. And then it will give you a list of planets where you can build stuff on. And also a load of stuff on those planets. Over here, on the left hand side, is this thing here very handy. Uh, you can take a screen print planets you can open up a planet view that planet right, you view that planet there it is there and uh, you scan for the stuff it's got on it right. there you go. now when you first get to this um, through the um, agency uh, more often than not this is is not is in a different position so uh, go like that so when you open the agency and you go to the planet planet's reproduction this is what you see first time this uh, at least two instances that this has happened and uh, eventually we managed to find out how to do it because yeah, as you know like if you click all these things up here uh, you know they disappear they go they completely go away no didn't know that okay okay they do yeah anyway so once you've found this drop down then you can begin at looking at the planet and seeing the resources it's got and uh, and then putting your command center very close to where these resources are and that saves a lot of unnecessary uh, long links from uh, the command center area the industry area to the extractors who are out there okay I thought I'd just cover that so when you first get to the planet and you find out what it is you want and where it is on the planet that you want it uh, and then you get to build your command center I mean, you have to obviously be over the planet with the command center in your hold. You don't have to jettison it or nothing. You just uh, you just have it in your hold. You go to the planet in question and you click on create command center. I'm not out over the planet and that's why it's given me that error message. Okay, so I've already made one. Now, contrary to the CCP video, uh, which is quite old now, um, the command center doesn't have to be connected to the rest of the colony. Okay. As you can see, I'm there's my command center there and it's not connected uh, also upgrades important for this uh, particular um, activity uh, in the planetary section uh, you want to upgrade all of these things as high as you can right. of course this is only uh, available to Amiga states for planetary production I'll, I'll put that in the video at the beginning so uh, planetary production basically you're extracting stuff that you want I'm going to make it into other stuff for example uh, let's have a look we've got we're extracting aqueous liquids for water yeah, um, it's a whole heap of uh, things going on the ground when you first open it up this will all be blank and there won't be any extractors installed and the time limit won't be set and put and uh, the resource that you want to get won't be set either so you have to set all that up so um, we select what it is we want Aqueous. I don't think it was aqueous, but then one. Um, and we put the head. It put it puts the head out there, you know. And then we move it around as we want. We set the time limit up. Sorry. Twenty hours. Uh, we get the head. We move it about. We watch the numbers up here go up. Up and up and up. Yeah, two thousand. That's good. Start extraction. Press submit. So yeah, you have to press submit any time you do something. So even right at the beginning when you're going to build your basic command center, press submit. After you've placed the command center, you can dock and do the rest of the uh, setup from there. Active metals, noble gas, and water, I believe. But at the moment, I'm producing a basic factory to produce plasmoids. I've got another basic factory producing water. It's actually producing industrial parts from a troughs which aren't being extracted here. But what I'm doing, I'm buying them on the market cheap and I'm bringing them here and putting it in the factory and it's still working. And the other one is uh, yeah, the metals, the base metals for reactive metals, which I've also delivered. Uh, I delivered it recently. Uh, and it's, it's waiting for resources. So, yeah, where is it? definitely delivered it there it is so click on storage 
I mean, this is only a very quick video. Uh, I will cover a few things that, that are going on uh, while you have your factories going, like uh, like the multiple links that you'll have in your storage facilities for stuff that's coming in from the extractors or stuff you're bringing in from uh, the loading bay or the launch pad, and, uh, and and how to work out you know, where they're going, you know, to where they're coming from, and stuff like that. Because I mean, these links will stay there until you delete them. That's what I found so far. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, so yeah, I've put some base metals in, and I want to get them over to the factory, which is there. There's two ways I can do that. I can either expedite a transfer to the uh, storage facility where they where they where they're expecting to be, or I can take it straight to the factory. But at the moment, I'm going to stick it in there. Okay. Uh, go to the expedited transfer to the storage facility click on the storage facility, drag it over execute transfer, oh dear god oh yeah, well that's another problem once you've done one of these expedited transfers you have to wait so yeah and now the advanced factories are making the tier 2 products So that's one setup. Another setup is uh, where you, the stuff you get out of the ground you make into something straight away. I think it's this one. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm selecting water up there, I believe. Uh, aqueous liquids for water. And down here I'm collecting uh, microorganisms for bacteria. Okay, so we've got uh, a basic factory here. It's making bacteria. It's making the bacteria and it's sending it to the storage facility. On the storage facility you can then send other stuff to factories and their resulting product gets sent back to the storage facility. Here's the storage facility at the moment. We've got bacteria in there, microorganisms. So the aqueous liqu liquids are coming from the extractor there and they're going to be directed to the factory that's dealing with it and so forth. Test cultures, I believe, are the output, are the resulting of all the factories. So, bacteria, water, two ready together, make test cultures. The test cultures, I believe, are going back to the storage facility. There it is there. Excellent. So, again, uh, No, and this this model, this is one of my early models. Here you see everything's going through the command center. I could probably, I can't move the command center now, so I'd have to move the roots. And I thought, well, it's, I'm not, probably not going to do that now. At some point in the in the, in the future, I may well move the heads around, and I can then move the factories around, and I could move it all around so that it's not connected to that. There are various links about being connected, and if you click on the link itself, you open up another menu which says you can upgrade that link uh, I went I went I upgraded all the links and just found out that in the end uh, all it did was it increased uh, that line and and uh, and then it meant I couldn't build anymore so <coughs> word to the word to the wise there you only really need to click that when it's using a lot of power uh, in one example of that is where the uh, the head it's very very far away you know a long way away and uh, obviously the longer that line is the more power you're going to have to use so that might be what it's for I'm not sure um, right so uh, there's the output test cultures and uh, if you want to get them off world you're going to have to send them to the loading bay so that's how you do that Get your test cult. Yeah, you can't build a link. You can build a link to the loading bay, but it won't go there. You have to send it there. Now, expedite transfer. Click on the building you want it to go to. Oops, wrong one. Here. <laughs> Drop it in there. Execute transfer. Right. Now it's in there, and uh, you can go to the loading bay associated, the custom house associated with that, which is situated an orbital platform above the planet. 
which you can find on this uh, icon here which uh, that icon initially is found in here you, you can drag it down to your bar etc yes yeah, so I hope I've, you've enjoyed my morning mid-morning uh, video telling you a little bit about planetary production and